Hi, Carol here, and thank you for joining me in my craft room. It's a beautiful Saturday, and I am just going to quickly draw out and watercolor a, a background drop. I'm doing a canvas for a friend, and it's going to be in the um, water fish theme. And I wanted to use my ink tense pencils, so I grabbed my set. I've had these forever. 12 of your Strath uh, Stadler drawing pencils and they just have the B family and the H family and a few F pencils and that is all you really need if you're starting. I'll put it up there. Uh, it goes from dark to light and uh, I'm going to use a hammer and some nails to put the scales in of my fish so I'm going to pick out that's going to be later uh, but I'll show you how you do that. And I'm going to use my um, my ink, ink and stamp set that I got in that haul with all of these images in there. I don't know how many of them I will incorporate. incorporate. I would say that, eh? And then I was going to show you... Um, I'm going to use the koi fish, but um, I started drawing this morning and I never even thought of putting it on film. Um, I did a bass. I'm going to do this. Um, I don't know if you can see that well, but I always put the colors and just uh, scale it down. <laughs> ha ha ha. On my fish. And then I did one koi fish here this morning quickly just to see the kind of image I, I wanted. And then I thought just a few minutes ago, you know what? I'm going to take you through the process with me. And... Um, we're going to draw it together. So if you have, this is Strathmore watercolor paper. I'm using the rough side. And I just want to show you, I just sketch a little bit in the evenings, 15 minutes. And um, you just take, this is the back of those um, calendar sheets. And um, I love to do flowers and, you know, flower addicted. I love to just quickly draw flowers. I like to cartoon, and you will see I have a whole lot of cartooning here that I do. There was one kind of cute one I did. I like this one that I grabbed, and there's tons of them. Because they only take 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes max. Uh, this one says, right in the middle of the proto-style, Frosty gets caught picking his nose. And there's carrots there, and I drew the you know, the little produce section of a store. And, you know, I, I actually found, whoop, there goes my light. I found those cleaning under my bed today in my craft room. I have so much stuff there. Let me just get the light. I'm not going to start over. There we go. And um, I wanted to put these away. There was a whole pile of them there, and I thought, oh, I think I'm going to draw today. So that's what we're going to do together. So let me bring this down. And uh, I started out with an H pencil. You want it, an eraser. I like this one, the speed eraser. You get it at your office supply store. One, you just click it. It comes with three refills. And uh, it doesn't leave all those marks. This one's not bad from Staples. But, you know, when you're erasing, and I'm an eraser, I like to redo, redo, redo. So um, I've used all my gum erasers. They're just left to nothing, just a little wad. So they're good. The gray, the gray gummy ones, uh, snot erasers, they call them. I don't like that name. I call them gummy erasers. So uh, anyway, so I thought I'd do a koi fish, catfish. It was the first fish I ever caught when I was a teenager. Um, I'm going to do a bass, so I scaled it down to size, uh -huh. and the colors I'm going to use. So I've got just the impression. I started on my uh, koi fish right here, and I thought, you know what, I'll do another one so you can join in. Koi fish are this is a simplistic fish to draw, even if you don't have any, you know, I don't have a lot of drawings. I never took classes. I just do it because I enjoy it. And um, if I see something, I like to copy it 
and um, draw it out or whatever. I'm a visual artist. Well, artist. I don't say like artist, but I can't draw it just from out of nowhere. I have to visually see it and then my brain computes it onto paper. So um, I saw this on the internet and watched it a couple of times and thought I'm going to give that a go. So I don't know if it will be how close it'll be, but we'll do it together. Um, so the ink tense pencils, I'm going to use my hammer and the na different nail tips. You can see I use it a lot to uh, incorporate scales in there when it goes on the canvas. So we'll get along, get around to that. So I'm going to use just a H pencil for now. And I'm going to take you through, well, no, because it's on camera, I'll go right to a 2B. It's not dark, but it's darker. Okay, so you want to have, drawing is all circles, mostly circles and squares, but mostly circles, um, half circles, whatever. So the koi fish has kind of a square head on it. So what I start out with uh, here is you're going to, I'm going to see how dark I can get this. You're going to start out with um, kind of like a, go right down the page like this, okay? So you have your whole Strathmore sheet and you're doing a, like a sun type thing, okay? Then you're going to just scale it up a bit round here because this is going to be an eye right there. Okay? Then you're going to take another circular motion, keeping in mind that this is going to be, I'd say, a couple of inches. And you're just going to bring the body of the fish back down to meet up here. And if you're like me, when you start sketching and you start painting, this is going to disappear, okay? Then take it up like this, up like this, just not even worrying. You have one and a longer line. You have a short line and this eye here is longer and then cut it off like this, okay? Then what I like to do is come down here and just bring another line up to meet up in the top of this square, okay? Like that. Now, for the fins here, you're going to make one circle here like this. I'm keeping it light because I'm going to sh I'm going to have to erase this. But you're going to take one circular motion here for the fins. Then you're going to bring this down and bring this up. Okay, so you have one fin. This eventually gets uh, erased because you're going to bring the scales on the, into the picture. But you still want to make that that oval like this, then just come straight down and meet up like this. And there you have another uh, fin. But this fin will eventually have a curve like that. Okay, because it's, it's going to have a lot of wavy motion in the background. So if you're following me along, you pretty well are okay with two um, fins there. Now, to make the scales right where this eye that we drew here, let's draw the other one. It is kind of a, you can point it there, the eyeball, let's say, let's arrange it there, put two little lines there, and that's the eyeball. I like to remember there's a little white spot in there, so you can add that in, okay? Now, right, this is going to get erased, this line that we drew right here. This one, right there, we're going to erase that, but it's a guideline. 
so you want to kind of work in thirds um, when you do it so you know if you talk about the bottom third middle third top third that's how I my I eyeball things so you're going to take in the upper third and um, you're going to just draw this out now just come down you're just making these scales and stop um, halfway okay then you're going to bring it right there for now all right so now is when you start erasing so you take your eraser and take get rid of this line you're safe to get rid of this line this is where I start safely starting to erase okay you have a little bit of race here because you drew a little curvy thing going on there. You might not need it up that far, but we'll see after. So you're going to have your fins here and they're going to come up. Uh, here's another erase. Remember this was your oval circle, so let's erase this right across there like that. Okay, and let's come up like this. So you have your fin showing that we had there before. Then this will be curvy, right, because it's a spine. Bring it up to this middle line, and then you can lightly draw in your fins. Just lightly, because I don't know whether that will stay. But that is going to be fins right there, okay, when we're drawing. This one here is going to come this way, like that. Only three, which is good. Then this one I'll put in an opposite direction of the other one so that you see it's an extra fin. So they're kind of like a C going that way, okay? Then you want to draw a circle here lightly and just leave it for now, okay? So that circle is right there okay so it's right by the fin that we will change up because it can go right like this see how you scale everything <laughs> I hate saying that but that's the truth okay now we're working on the bottom half just take your pencil and draw another arc just like that can you see that just uh, I have to erase it but that's okay there you go, you have an arc. Now, come down a half an inch, draw a straight line, and meet up with this one. That's a little farther, so you have another fin. And then take it this, and come down like this, and bring it up. You have another fin, and you did it by just having that arc. Bring it down, straight in, and this one could maybe be like this, doesn't matter. Then you're going to have another fin coming here. So once again, you grab your eraser, get rid of these two lines. And it's easy peasy square fin here. And then take out your just your center line that you used as a guideline. There we go. Okay, so now you have two fins, three actually, the scales, the fins, okay? Now we're going to work on the edge. See where this point came up? Take this and just bring it up and up like that. That's it. Then come down one inch and meet up with it on a S type, okay? So there you have one portion of the um, back fin. Then come up an inch and a quarter about. Take it from here like this. And then meet up half an inch like this. So you have that portion. Now this is where you want to make it look like it's flipped up. So just make a moon meeting at that point right here okay and then it looks like it's coming up and then this is where we can add our curly cues at the end as we're drawing okay 
So we have that much. Now, put a moon here by the eye. You can make uh, something right here. This one on the top, you basically have your fish and all you did was draw uh, connecting uh, ovals to get your fish, right? Now, the scales, is a, they, they're a different story here. And I'm gonna show you this. They're, they're not, uh, they're not that bad to do, but um, it takes sometimes a little bit of practice. So when we come down here on our fish, we're going to take this and come in. So you're going to make like a jowl. So you're going to erase this line right here. Okay, this is we're going to round up the head like this. All right. And then round it up again because this is where your scales are going to begin. So if you're following me, this is where we're going to start. I can darken it up because I pretty well know. This is where you add the softness like that. Okay, you're taking the square portions out. You just grab your eraser. This is why I like the pen eraser, okay? And then on the second part, we will totally color this. We will have the background finished. And um, there we go. So now comes, you have this. So here comes your scale. You want to do one, two, three. And scales are pretty uniform up here. So see how you have the three like that, okay? When you do scales, you want, you started them here like this. You want to keep them always in the middle, okay? So you're going to go in the middle, in the middle, in the middle. That way you can just add that later. Remembering, try and keep three going all the way down, the third thing. Keep it as three. So start here. Don't worry about the outside. Go to the middle of that circle. Come around, around, touching the middle of these three. Then you can take this up like this, okay? Then this, we can just come down like that. And you're staying uniform with the scales, okay? So let's just continue that on. Don't worry about this side right now. Come to the three. One, two, three, starting in the middle of the first, middle of the second, like that. Add it there. Then you can come over here, okay? Once again, start in the middle of this one to the middle, keeping your circles rather uniform, okay? and then you can join over here. So what I'm gonna do with this one, this one's gonna have to be erased right there. So you started in the middle and this is what I'm saying. Keep that old eraser close by. So when you're coming in, as long as they're uniform circles, see how that, this is a perfect example let me get up there. See how that was squared off and I had to um, make it more of a circle like that. And then you don't have as much on the scale there. You can take that pretty well out. Now these are starting to look like sagging balloons. You don't want that. The scales are going to be rounded. So um, it's almost like adding balloons, but they want you want it to be round, okay? So let's round this one from the center here. So if I can zoom in here for you, there we are. So we started on this center to this, whoopsie, get your eraser. You will see the difference of having to do this like this. Then you can bring that up, whoop, up there. and then just go like that. Taking this 
to this. No, nope. sorry. So you're going to take this to this circle, this to this one, then you can add this and so forth. All right, so now let's do this one, this one, this one. That can come down. This one, we're worrying about the three. We're only going to follow through on the three and bend your picture down if you have to to get this one. Okay, so I'm going to do one, two, and on there, three. One, two, three. And then it, if you don't, if you want to keep it so that there are just three, you can. But you end up doing one, two, three, and adding it like this. Go to that circle, the middle of that. You're always going to the middle portion. Okay? So you can scale that there. But let's always go from the middle of the circle like that. Okay? You're getting down to where it is. So I'm going to go from that middle, that middle, that middle. The middle, the middle, the middle, done. The middle, the middle, because we're getting to where it is thinner. And so you can bring this out, the middle, middle. Okay, so that one is a mistake. Get your eraser. I'm going to bring it up. I'm getting too many scales in there. Does it make a difference? Well, yes and no. They pretty well look like scales. I don't think I've sat down when I was uh, cleaning a fish and seeing how uniform they were, but I just know you want to take it from the middle of the circle that you make. The middle, to the middle, to the middle, to the middle. Okay, start at the middle, go to the next middle. That way every middle part of your circle is being hit. And that helps you with your scales. I start here on this one because I know it's going to the middle of that one, to the middle of that one, to the middle. Then you can add another one. Okay. Nope. See what happens there? You don't want to do that. It was starting to play there. Back it up. Back it up to the three. You will get it. Let me sharpen this. Okay. I'm gonna I don't want to start down there. So you've got one, two, three. That's better. The middle, the middle, the middle, the middle. Here we go. The middle. I hate to be so repetitious, but this this is going to help because then you never get to the middle. There we go. Hit the middle. You can come back to the other ones. Go to the middle of this one, to the middle of this one. Then, of course, you're going to have these two little scales. Okay. And yes, I'm bringing them down smaller. There we are. And do you see how that meets up as scales? It'll look really nice when you color it with your ink tense pencils. Going from the middle, 
always being in the middle of the circle, like I said. Then, it depends how many, I mean, you could draw big circles and not have this many scales, but I like to see a lot of scales on fish in the middle. That's the key thing, is the middle of the previous circle. And then, let's go from this whole middle, this middle. Don't be afraid to erase, like now. When I go to color it, I will bring it even. I like it when it gets down to the small area. I'm doing them tiny, like that. It's really pretty. This I just darkened up. It's no panic. It is going to be very dark when you start adding um, your, I just saw this, remove these lines in the fin. You don't want to forget that, okay? And when you put your intense pencils on, like I said, you're not going to see that. I just wanted you to see this effect. Then kind of ripple to each one of the scale lines you did and see how it comes into play. Grab one of your lines. There we are. It's looking more like a little fish. You can take this out if it bothers you and start again because you know each one is from the middle of the previous circle so you can correct it. I try to just keep the so they're not, they, they stay round like that. Okay, starting to get better. <laughs> ah, middle, middle, middle. Then you can add, okay? Add more of them. And, oh, I only have one minute. Okay, so in the next video, I will come back and this is going to come all the way down. Hear that wind? I hope this helps you. Um, and once we start hammering in the canvas with this on it and getting some dimension down into your scales, uh, this is not going to be like ac it's not going to look dead on accurate because you're going to have those puncture marks in um, in your okay let's come down here do there. This is when you wish you had some music or something going. I'm going to haul out so that you can see a little piece of it here. As we take the lines, you're going to see some more.